Let's look now at converting our polyline, our lines, our text and our attributes into an AutoCAD block. Now, a little bit of tidying up before we do so. We need to tidy up the area here with our attributes. Let's just zoom in, position the crosshair over the area and zoom in. Those lines that we've used to set out the attributes need to go. So select each line, one, two, three, and four. Don't select the attributes, we need to keep those. Then it's up to the Home tab and select Erase there on the Modify panel. Now you can just press the Delete key on your keyboard. That has the same effect. So remember that one, less mouse clicks, one keyboard press. Smarter, more efficient. Now those are tidied up. We also need to pan and look at our text here where it says new project. That point there, we don't need that anymore. Again, hit the delete key or use erase and then double click and pan and zoom to where it says your company name, in my case, Cad Gorilla. Click on that point there, delete it and job done. Double click on the wheel to zoom extents. Now, if you've made any mistakes there, utilize the undo and obviously make sure that you haven't deleted or erased anything that you need. Once you've done that zoom extents, just roll back once on the wheel like that. So you're zooming back slightly. We're going to make this into an AutoCAD block, but before we do that, we need to select all of the objects that are making up our AutoCAD title block or any other object that we want to make into a block. What we're going to do is we're going to click without any command selected up here. So get your crosshair there and left click. Drag the window, it's a blue window, which is a window selection. You need to make sure that the window covers all of the objects like that. So everything within that window will now get selected when you left click again, like so. Those are the objects that you need to make into an AutoCAD block. Now you can make a block from the Home tab there's the block panel there. You can also make a block in the insert tab here. Insert, create and block editor. So there's create there. You've also got in the home tab, block and you've got create there as well. Doesn't matter which way you do it, but just click on create. Now, before we click on create, there's one little thing you need to remember. And that is to convert all of these objects onto layer zero. There's a reason for that, because then when the block comes into the drawing, it'll adopt the properties of the current drafting layer. So select all the objects, layer pull down in the Home tab and select layer zero. They will all change color, but remain selected. Then click on Create. Now the name of the block will be ISO A3 metric title block. So type all of that in, make sure you spell it right, it always looks good when you spell right. And then we're going to set up all the variables here for the block. Now, we're going to pick a point, which is this corner here, so make sure you've got your object snaps on. That's the base point, the actual corner of the block when you insert it in the drawing. We then go to the objects area of the dialog here and click on select objects. Now. You may have noticed that the objects were already selected. So if I hit escape once, it takes me back to the dialog box, just check that that yellow triangle isn't there. If that yellow triangle is there, it means no objects are selected. So you must select objects and do the window thing again. Left click, drag the blue window, left click. Make sure the window covers everything and then right click to confirm 29 objects. Now. This is where it gets a bit scary, but I don't want you to worry about it too much. Because what we're going to do is we're going to convert all of those objects there to a block. Behavior, you don't need to worry about annotative, but we will scale uniformly in the X and Y direction, and we will allow the block to be exploded in case we need to explode it, make some changes and create a slightly different block. My block units will be millimeters, and you can insert hyperlinks to websites and things if you need to. Make sure open in block editor is unticked. 
we don't need the block editor right now. Click on OK. And you'll see now that the attributes that we created are all there, ready to be entered. That's what attributes do. Now that dialog box can actually be switched off. I'm just going to OK that. And you'll see now, look, if we zoom in, that is a block with all those attributes in the right places. So we've made our block there. Now we don't want the block in the model tab. So what we need to do is think about where it's going to go. Where's it going to go? It needs to go into a layout tab. And we'll think about that in the next few exercises in this section.